Okay, so here what we're going to try and do is to demonstrate um, the vertical calibration of the scope over its ranges. We're going to do it because we, uh, we're supplying a DC voltage and uh, we're adjusting that voltage to 20 and then we're going to uh, measure that voltage on both the channels and see what we get in terms of the divisions. We're zeroing right now. We've got uh, channel 1 and channel 2 both have four divisions they can rise and in both cases right at the moment we're on 20 volts per division and we have essentially a 20 volt signal. So 20 volts when we Click on A, we're coming up one division. B, we're coming up one division. At 20 volts per division, that would be right. Now, let's uh, make sure we have 20 volts. Close enough. And let's, uh, let's try and go to 10 volts per division. All right, 10 volts per division. Once again, channel one. We are now up two divisions. 10 volts per division, 20 volts. Channel two, that's zeroed out. Comes up two divisions, 20 volts. Let's go to five volts per division. All right, channel one rises four divisions. That's 20 volts. Channel 2 rises 4 divisions, that's 20 volts. So our calibration is accurate uh, down to the 5 volt scale. Now, we're going to change our voltage, take her down to um, 10 volts. There we go. Yeah, within uh, within a hundredth of a volt, which you'd never see on this uh, scope. So once again, we're zeroed on channel one and two, and we're on the five volt per division. So we rise two divisions in each case. That's ten volts. We're at ten volts. Good. Let's take this voltage down to 8. Good. 8 volts. Alright, we go to 2 volts per division. And we go up 4 divisions. That's 8 volts. Good. 2 volts per division on channel 2. That jumps up 4 divisions. That's 8 volts. Perfect. All right, close enough. Go back and check our zeros again. All right, channel one rises two divisions. We're on the two volt per division scale. Now if I go to one volt per division, we jump up to four. Four volts, cool. Channel two. 2 volts per division rises 2 divisions, 1 volt per division rises 4. Once again, 4 divisions. Okay, let's reduce this uh, to 2 volts. Very good. Within 3 thousandths of a volt, we're at 2. Go back to zero here, okay, and uh, two volts, one volt per division, we rise two on channel one, and if we go to a half volt per division, we're at four. Do that once more, four volts. Okay, channel two, 
two volts per division. No, I'm sorry, one volt per division. We rose two divisions. And if we go to a half volt per division, we are now up four divisions. Once again, zero. To up four divisions at a half volt per division, that's two volts. Okay, we are now set for um, reading two volts. We are set to the um, half volt per division setting. We bring in channel one and we're up four. Four times 0.5 is two volts. And the same thing for channel two. We're up four divisions. Four times 0.5 is two volts. Okay. There. 0.8 volts. And we want to be on the 0.2 volts per division position. And we bring in channel one. And we are set at uh, four divisions up. So that's 0.2 times 4 is 0.8, and channel 2, 0.2 times 4 is 0.8. Okay, let's go to um, 0.4 volts of input. Okay, we've now dialed in 0.4 volts, and we are at the 0.1 volt per division level. We're going to bring in channel one, and channel one goes up four divisions, so that's 0.4. We're going to bring in channel two. Channel two goes up four divisions, and we're at 0.4 there. Let's just double check our zero. Exactly four divisions. And then let's go to 0.2. All right. So there is uh, 200 millivolts or 0.2 volts and we are going to dial down to 50 millivolts per division. We're at 50 millivolts per division and we are adjusting our zeros. And then let's bring in channel one. We're up four divisions. Channel two, we're up four divisions. So we have 200 millivolts. 50 millivolts times four is 200. Okay. And then um, we should be able to go to Okay, we have 80 millivolts dialed in. We are on the um, 20 millivolt per division settings. And we're going to flip in channel one. We go up four divisions. It's 80 millivolts. Channel two goes up four divisions. That's 80 millivolts. Let's uh, dial down to 40 millivolts now. 40 millivolt setting and we're going to go to up oh, on our last uh, last setting. Okay, in order to measure lower than 20 millivolts, we had to leave the 10 times probe setting, which will be the normal setting that you'd work in. And we've gone to the 1 times probe setting. You do that via the switch on the on the probe itself. You slide the switch forward, and it's now set to one times. That means we have a, um, a one uh, megohm uh, input here instead of ten. And um, but that means I can use the one times probe setting on the dial. We are now set to ten millivolts per division, and I am. Uh, I am set for 40 millivolts on the input yeah, within a tenth of a millivolt, which you'll never see the difference. I could probably touch that out. There we go. All right, let's bring in channel one. 
Channel 1 goes up four divisions, bring in channel 2, channel 2 goes up four divisions. We are 40 millivolts for both signals. All right, let's go to 20 millivolts. Touch that up just a hair. Yeah, within a tenth of a millivolt, we are 20 millivolts. All right, zero settings. Here we're dead nut zero, and then let's bring in channel one. This is on the 10 millivolt per division setting, so we're up 20 millivolts. And that's what I said we had. And then uh, channel two, same thing, up two divisions, 20 millivolts. Bring in channel one. We are now on the 5 millivolt per division level. We go up to 20 millo. I'm sorry, we go up four divisions. That's uh, five, that's 20 millivolts. Let's bring in channel two. Four divisions, again, 20 millivolts. At this level, we are starting to see a little bit of AC fuzz uh, showing up on the DC line. That's to be expected with the non shielded cables I'm using, but eight millivolts. Go back and recheck our zeros here. We are set pretty good. And we're going to see if we can uh, read 8 millivolts now. All right, we went up four divisions, four divisions. It's a much better signal, still fuzzy, but uh, 8 millivolts, both channels. So that's, that's the end of our uh, vertical gain calibration checks. We were able to calibrate and read the voltages in the proper divisions across the entire range. So next we'll take a look at the frequency uh, time base and we'll check all of the time base settings.